You're looking live at the Colorado State Capitol where testimony has been going on for hours now about a bill proposing to ban assault weapons. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Denver 7 News at 5. I'm Andrew Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. This bill was introduced in early March. Now, in addition to banning assault weapons, it would also put restrictions on licensed gun dealers. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon is joining us live from the Capitol where she's been listening to testimony all day. So, Colette, lawmakers are also considering making changes to the legislation. Yeah, guys, the prime sponsor of this bill, Representative Elizabeth Epps, she started off the hearing today by talking about an amendment she might be making that would totally change the way this bill looks and reads. But right now, that bill is reading as banning assault rifles in Colorado, meaning anyone who makes, buys, or sells them would face a class two misdemeanor. The change Representative Epps mentioned would ban bump stocks, taking assault rifles out of the bill. Bump stocks are already prohibited at the federal level. It's still unclear whether or not that's actually going to be an amendment made later tonight. In its original form, the Senate sponsor of the bill says it's about addressing gun violence and mass shootings in Colorado. While those against it say the number of people who showed up to testify demonstrate the level of opposition to the bill. If you have fewer firearms, it may result in fewer mass shootings in the state of Colorado. That would be my hope. That would be my desire. What we're seeing is a, is a pushback in the state of Colorado for a continuation of a fairly radical agenda in, in the disarming of our citizens when we have a time where crime is as high as it's ever been. Now, there were more than 550 people who signed up to speak to lawmakers today. There was a time limit actually put on each individual testimony because they wanted to make sure they get through everyone. This hearing is expected to last until 10, 1030 with those witnesses. After that is when any amendments may be addressed. Live at the state capitol. Colette Bordel on Denver 7. And we will definitely stay on top of it. Thank you, Colette. And if this assault weapons ban bill passes, will be prepared for lawsuits to be filed specifically by Rocky Mountain gun owners. Now that group has filed multiple lawsuits against Colorado cities that have acted similar gun laws. Now within the past year, their lawsuits have prompted judges to pause or block new gun laws in places including Boulder County, the city of Boulder, Louisville and Superior. And so far this legislative session, Democratic state lawmakers have passed four new gun bills that await Governor Polis' signature. One bill raises the minimum age to buy a firearm from 18 to 21. Another expands the red flag law by expanding the groups of people who can ask the courts to have a gun removed from someone. A third bill makes it easier for victims to sue gun manufacturers. And the last requires a three-day waiting period to receive a gun after purchase.